one of the little secrets of the biking community to keep yourself from chafing down there in those hard to reach areas, butter. You take this, you slather your crack and your front. So this is the first stop. This is uh, Newburgh. This is where we begin. And there's thousands of riders here. And uh, we're just two of them. But look, we did get our shirts because Corey raised so dang much money that we ended up getting a shirt too. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. And so we're going to start from here and uh, get our bikes out and head to Pacific City. That's how it works. So that's how I've kind of gotten into biking is by doing it as a vlog and now as a vlog. I'm Andrew Steele from Corvallis. I'm riding for my grandmother who's passed away from COPD last month. So it means a little more when you're doing it for somebody? Yeah, it means a, it means a lot more. I did it last year and it's nowhere near the same feeling. So. Last year I was riding and I, I didn't meet, but I found out about Kelly Rom. I kept thinking about her. And so at the end, I wrote a blog and she read it and she was really touched by that. And then a few months later, she died. And then we found other people to ride for to include in our team, which is Julia and then a woman named Barbara. And her husband gave me this to take down there and it says, breathing in the moss and ferns, caress my lungs. And he put a little rock on here for her. So I interviewed her husband and she died. And all these people have lung cancer um, and did not smoke at all just slows life down when you're out on the back country roads and gives you time to kind of ponder and think about life and take in the surroundings and the beauty of the area. This is a SAG stop and you come on these and you get food every so often. Um, every what are the 20 miles honey or something so um, in addition to having what they're giving us we're gonna let people try some of our craft crickets and see what they think unique community oh that's only a leg you, that's, that's thing. Count. you gotta eat a whole you gotta eat a whole cricket okay <laughs> yeah. it's not oh, that's a little bit of a sunflower you want to try one <laughs> all right Ooh, that's a lot of crickets. <laughs> All right. I know. That's a good cricket. <laughs> Will you eat crickets? Yeah. They're really super high in protein. Oh, Pop them in your mouth. Oh, they're really crunchy. Oh, Rick. You want one? Kind of. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no sugar. They're craft they're protein, crickets right? out of Eugene. Yeah, yeah, it's high protein. Eugene, so they're like a cricket farm? Yeah, there's a cricket farm. A million crickets in this little place they, no they raise way. them. This falls under things I didn't think I would do today. Crunchy. Doesn't it taste like a sunflower, kind of? Like a very crunchy sunflower. <laughs> it's not terrible. When I'm thinking about going up these hills, and there's a real steep one at the very end, I think I'll be thinking of... Um, that is so little compared to the challenges um, that like Julia faces every day and her family. It's fun when you're riding and there's people and it's fun to pass them and just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of keeps you going when you see people ahead and you think, oh 
oh yeah, I could go, I can, I can get past them. So one of the cool things when you're going through those um, backlands, you're just all these farmers' fields and and country land and and uh, clover and grass and meadow foam, and you're just cruising along, and it's just quiet. It's just so beautiful. And then you also get to go through little towns like Sheridan and Amity and places where there's just people all around, and there's some people out there cheering for you sometimes, and uh, it's just a really fun experience to be doing this. A little overwhelming. Why? All the support of all these people, helping out people like Kelly. Okay, here's something interesting. You can enter to win a honey bucket. What would I want an outhouse for? I mean, would I really want an outhouse to have an outhouse? I don't think so. Honey, guess what? What? We can enter to win a honey bucket. I saw in there that you can enter and a family can win their own outhouse. What why the hell would anybody would... want a honey bucket? I don't know why anybody want a porta potty. I don't. No, thank you. Little did I expect that I would be meeting Julia just just a little over a week ago, and for me, she put a face on this event. Julia found out about two months ago that she has lung cancer. It's just heart wrenching, and when. I realized here I am writing, what, a week and a half later, I'm writing for lung cancer, the very thing that she's fighting. It just changes everything for me. So Julia, thank you for sharing your story with me and I take you with me today in my heart as I'm writing. And I know you're thinking of all of us and for all those out there that are fighting today, we're right for you. And thank you for allowing us to do that. It's a privilege.